I was born in Texarkana in 1916. And uh, my family, the Vink family, were all glass workers. And uh, they worked, they came from uh, West Virginia. My grandfather came from Belgium when he was 18 years old. And so I understand you had, early on, you had a shop of your own, even though when you were at Libby Owens, did, were you selling glass on your uh, own? Mm -hmm. yeah, glass? I had a little studio at home, always a shop, and I worked. Uh, after work and on weekends mm -hmm. in the art part of it. Mm -hmm. Then when Libby Owens closed, we built this place and went into the uh, strictly the art. I did stained glass and engraving, uh, copper wheel engraving mm -hmm. the, uh, into the higher arts of the of the trade. So. Now, did you were you self-taught on copper wheel engraving, or were there people at Libby Owens that, like, was there another group of uh, of glass cutters doing that? No, no, there were no one. You were the only one. I was the only one oh. doing the art glass. You know. <laughs> and doing a beautiful and, job too. <laughs> I, I just got the. Uh, I just wanted to do it. That's what what I wanted. So, I bought the equipment and uh, and started to doing the hand engraving. And, and I have engravings at, uh, all over the United States, some in, some pieces and a couple of pieces in England. And, and I did one for the Pope at one time, mm -hmm. like it's up there on the wall, picture. Talk and, about the learning curve on that. I mean, like how long did it take you to get to a level that was acceptable for you uh, in terms of quality? Well, uh, <clears throat> It took, I, I can't say how long, but it took uh, a, a, a constant effort mm -hmm. because you don't just sit down and do it. It is a, a very difficult uh, work of art that you do on the glass because you hold the glass in your hand and work under a wheel rather than using a machine on the glass. And, and it's all done by free, free hand cutting that the engraving is. It's, a, it's something that takes a lot of concentration and, and patience. You have to have patience to do that. And would you lay out your designs um, mm -hmm. beforehand or did you do some of it freehand? Some freehand, but most everything I did, I, I had an idea of what I wanted to do. And the, I've never done the perfect piece. <laughs> you never get that. You never do that. What would you say would be your finest achievement in terms of uh, your career, your artistic career here in Shreveport? Well, in, in the copper wheel engraving uh, that I think I think was the most difficult, and and I did. Uh, I don't know whether you say conquer that or not, but anyway, I did some successful pieces. Oh, beautiful And I was pieces. very uh, happy with some of the things that, that I did. And I wish I was still doing them. Oh, was, we do too. We would really love it. Well, I think Shreveport is very fortunate to have such a talented artist in its midst, and it's wonderful that they recognize this and took advantage of your talents by commissioning special pieces, family pieces, and commemorative pieces, and, and that sort of thing, in addition to all the beautiful art artwork and sculpture. And the museum is particularly thrilled to be able to have a collection that represents your, your work, too. So well, we're this, most appreciative, and we're appreciative of uh, you giving us the time to tell us well, about it. I, I appreciate it more than you can imagine because we didn't know what we were going to do with all this. Oh, well, we're and it's just a godsend. That's uh, all. Just, well, we're, we're thrilled, too.